digital assistants, chatbots, humanoid robots, why are they always female? Because they're less threatening? <laughs> Uh, I think so. Not so with Robot <laughs> Sophia, who debuted at South by Southwest. Uh, we can watch a little clip from a video from CNN. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. Oh, reminds so, me of Tay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she's uh, threatening enough. I don't know. Why, why do you guys think there are always female voices in all of these digital assistants? Erin? I wish I had an answer for that. <laughs> I've been thinking about that for, <laughs> for a while. Um, I, I don't know. It's the, you know, uh, GPS navigation voices or, or whatever. It's to that, that, that cool, soothing female voice. Right. I, I wish I had any... I, idea apart from just kind of calling some kind of you know sexist <laughs> yeah. i know right um, like you know. when when I, when I think of of talking to a robot in in a man's voice let's say um my instant reaction is to you know is that it's going to go kind of more to that kind of threatening mm -hmm. side of things and uh, i don't i don't know that what that says about society if that's what how the creators behind these things also feel and that's why they choose uh you know women to represent you know ai or robots uh more than men but i bet you there's probably something to that that there's just kind of a social inclination for people to maybe trust uh trust a, a woman's voice more than they trust a man's voice there has been research that says in terms of like the gps assistant that um that men and women are more likely to be guided by a female voice. Like, I don't know if that's oh, okay. like we're all thinking of our mothers or, or what that is. But, uh, so in terms of the GPS, that there was re they did do um, research. I'm sure they've done research with all of these voices. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, the, it, it, it does, it is hard when all the assistants are always, you know, female, the, the ones helping you. Um, and I don't know if anybody remembers the Apple Knowledge Navigator. That was from 1987. It was sort of like no, a, a pre-Siri. Um, and it was a man's voice. Uh, so, yeah, it was it was like basically what Siri would eventually become, like someone you could ask, what what's on my calendar today? Or, you know, what you know, what appointments do I have or where some research? And, and it was like a like a sort of nerdy little man's voice. But. Yeah, that's they decided not to choose that voice for yeah. Siri. I would uh, I would love to know what the percentage of people are who, for example, would pick a male voice for Siri because that is an option. And I actually yeah. have a coworker who you know opted to have the male voice. Um, and yeah, I'd be, I'd be I'd be curious. Yeah, yeah. mine. Uh, I I use the male voice for Siri. <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 See? Choice. Yeah.